Hey guys, so I've been seeing so many stories and posts. I'm so glad you decided to join me on this. And um, I've also been seeing that you guys are having some problems and getting stuck here and there. So I'm going to try and help you out. I have picked some of the most frequent problems that you guys have been facing and I'm going to address it. So the first problem that you guys have been facing is how to deal with pests. Okay, there's no 100% uh, like um, foolproof solution to pests because this is their home as well. <laughs> so, um, uh, but there are some things that you can do to minimize the damage. Um, I uh, check on my plants every single day and um, you know, so that I catch these little tiny monsters very quickly. And um, I usually use like a mild 1% detergent or, or um, a 3% neem oil mixed with one or two drops of detergent. And um, if there are big pests like caterpillars, then you have to get handsy and remove them and pick them out. Yes, <laughs> it gets a little um, icky, but yeah. <laughs> uh, then if, it ca if it's at a later stage of infection, then you'd probably have to cut off the infected branches and uh, leaves or use a higher concentrate of uh, neem oil and the detergent. Um, I hope this helps, but again, uh, it's fine. Uh, if this happens, you'll, um, the, your plants will be fine and uh, you'll, you'll understand the mix of neem oil that uh, is required to get rid of uh, the damage. Then number two. Uh, where can we procure good seeds? Ah, so um, good seeds, organic seeds are basically seeds that don't have a chemical coating. And usually if you, um, you know, if you visit your local nurseries and your local shops, that's where you get reliable seeds. And um, also if it's trial and error actually with seeds, experience is your best teacher with seeds. That's what I have realized. Um, I can't really guarantee, but uh, I think nurserylife.com is also a very reliable source. What? And the third question is, why are the roots rotting in germination stage? Mm. So this can be because um, your soil is not aerated enough. Uh, so make sure that um, the, your soil is a little loose and there's, it's, there's, it's, it can breathe. And also there's a good drainage system. So usually I use grow bags, you know, so sometimes you tend to overwater it and then uh, you're drowning the plants. So um, with grow bags, the excess water always drains out. Uh, again, use a healthy seed. So um, this should solve that problem. The fourth question, what are the best practices to gain maximum results during germination? I think I did this in the seeding video is um, don't sow your seeds too deep, uh, one or two centimeters and um, keep them covered for a few days, for three days and um, don't overwater. And after five days or a week, then you can uh, shift them to direct sunlight. And you can also follow the video I previously posted. <laughs> The fifth question, why do the leaves start shedding and leaf discoloration? Okay, so um, if the older leaves are getting discolored, this is absolutely normal. This is the normal um, aging process. But if, uh, if the younger leaves are getting discolored, then it's um, usually because there's not enough nutrition. So I usually uh, do a good mix of um, NPK every week for my plants and uh, for, with my hydroponics I my EC levels are usually at 2.2 okay more detailed version of this in the next video mm, but make sure that your plants are getting enough nutrition and uh, sometimes overwatering or underwatering can also um, cause this discoloration. Uh, Am I a pro now? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Sixth question. How to grow plants if the temperatures are too high? Yes, Hyderabad is going to get very, very hot soon. And um, I am definitely going to get a shade net. Uh, so a shade net like with a 50 to 70% coverage should help your plants and um, should prevent them from dying. But a shade net is going to be absolutely compulsory uh, during the summer. What's the optimum growing conditions for plant growth? I think uh, plants usually require three to four hours of um, sunlight. Um, yeah, and 
that's good enough for most plants. I hope that has answered some of your questions and um, I hope now you're ready to plant again and uh, to take that chance again. <laughs>